All right, so how about a 68 Charger? Uh, what we have here is a 68 Dodge Charger, and this is a completely original car with just a hair over 50,000 miles, uh, and it's a car that uh, I've had on my radar for a long time, and it's something that I've wanted to, to build. And um, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about it. So I've been kind of, uh, I've been kind of wanting to do one of these builds for quite some time, and this is the perfect car to, this is the perfect car to start with. So um, let me just say this, uh, I, I've had a thing for B-body cars for years, and of course uh, the 68 Charger has been a car that I've had my eyeballs on for a long time, and I have yet to have secured one that was in fairly decent condition like this one. Uh, usually the cars that I've seen are severely rusted, and highly modified and the fact that this is a 1968 charger it is not an rt although it has a call out stripe around the back uh, it's not an rt but it is a matching number 440 car it is an hp 440 car uh, we have all of the build sheet documents and uh, everything that uh, substantiates this as being authentic and original and so um, you know something that that I, uh, I, my experience with, with restorations over the years, and, and I've been doing this for, for 30 years now, and um, I did a 69 Charger, I did a, a Tribute General Lee uh, Dukes of Hazard build, you know, 12, 12 years ago, and it came out fantastic. And, uh, uh, you know, for all of you guys who love the movie Bullet, uh, which you probably recall, um, was the, the black 68 Charger chasing originally chasing the 68 Mustang, uh, and then of course, roll reversal, 68 Mustang went in pursuit of the 68 Charger. And uh, um, you know, those, those, those movies inspire all of us car guys into building cars that bring back those wonderful memories. And of course, you know, the, the, the movie Bullet is one of those movies for me. It was one of the best car chases of all time. And uh, um, I got this crazy idea of let's, Let's take a 68 Mustang Fastback and let's take a 68 Charger and, and replicate those cars in resto mod form. Do a tribute build uh, of two cars uh, to that movie. This is the Charger half. Uh, at our body shop is the 68 Mustang Fastback, which we'll showcase here shortly. Uh, that is a 390 four-speed car. This is, like I said, a, an automatic 440. We have big plans, so some of our plans are gonna basically consist of a, we're gonna do a six-speed uh, T56 Magnum manual swap in this car. We're gonna do an Edelbrock fuel injection system. At one point, we talked about doing a Hellcat build resto mod, but being that this is such an original rust-free car and it has its matching 440 motor, I wanna leave the original engine in it. So installing an Edelbrock fuel injection system is pretty exciting. They have a new system out that is just absolutely fantastic. And we're gonna, we've already ordered that and that's on its way. The six speed manual is just gonna make this car a lot more fun to drive. We're probably not gonna do a rack and pinion setup on this. We will go with the tight ratio steering box and some new springs. This is gonna get repainted in black. So it will have a stunning black paint job when it's done and we're gonna keep the vinyl top, although this vinyl top has been redone at some point in its life and they used the wrong material. Uh, we're gonna put original authentic material back on it and put a black vinyl top back in it. And again, that's to replicate the original 68 Charger from Bullet. Um, as you can see, it still has the original hubcaps, much like the ones on the movie. Um, and uh, you know, we have a little bit of rust a little bit of rust in this back quarter panel, but nothing serious. The floors on this car are fantastic. The trunk is fantastic. So this is gonna be a really fun build. And again, you know, uh, I'm such a huge fan of modern technology and modern drivetrains. And, you know, we did a, we did a, a, a Gone in 60 Seconds uh, tribute build to that car that we're not allowed to talk about. And we, we put a Coyote with a supercharger in it and um, you know, modern suspension components with a rack and pinion and a, and a complete Heights IRS rear suspension in that 68 Mustang. And oh my God, what a fun car that was uh, to build. It was fantastic. And so as much as I'm a big fan of utilizing some of these more modern drivetrains, the SRT8 drivetrain, and of course the Hellcat drivetrain, I just, this thing screams. <laughs> great performance uh, we'll probably it is it's it's an open diff so we'll probably put a limited slip differential in there or a locker 
um, but uh, to, to upgrade it to a six-speed Magnum uh, T56 uh, transmission is going to be fantastic. Uh, there is a, a, a complete kit that you can buy now, uh, and we'll, we'll push that up uh, and show that off a little bit. Um, that should be here in the next four weeks. Uh, what I wanted to do today is just kind of introduce the car to you, and uh, we're going to do a little driving video, and we're going to head over to the body shop shortly, and we're going to show off the uh, the Mustang as well, and and our whole plan on on bringing these two cars together once again uh, with modern drivetrain components. Uh, it'll be for a really fun build. But you know, being that this is an original 440 car, we just want to we want to leave that drivetrain in there, and it's going to take a lot of body work simply because anytime you paint a car black you got to make it laser straight and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take the time and build this right and uh, really focus on all the details. Um, we are going to leave the vinyl top as I said. We're just going to have it redone. Every molding on the car is going to be replaced with new moldings. I'm not sure what we're going to do for wheels yet. You know, they are hubcaps, but we'll see. We'll get, when we get there, we'll figure it out. Um, we may end up widening the steelies and, and putting a little bit a bigger dish on it, but may, may even go with the original hubcaps. Um, and again, you know, we're going to probably use uh, lowering springs and some maybe coilovers. Not really sure yet. Um, but uh, in terms of performance, this thing's going to have to handle well. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And and you know, check this car out. Like I said, being being an original 440 car and being that it it has all of its original components in it, it's not something you see every day. Uh, originally a white car, it has uh, its data plate and its build characteristics in it already. It, ha it has had some work done to it. You know, like I said, uh, this drivetrain is going to come out and this is going to all be reworked and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. This uh, was an air conditioning car, although the condenser is missing and the compressor is missing. Um, uh, you know, the evaporator is still here, the dryer rather is still here, and uh, we're going to add modern condenser and a modern uh, compressor to it because we definitely want this thing to have great working air conditioning as we, as we complete this build. And, and everything's going to get refinished under here, but uh, the fact that it's, it's such an original uh, untouched car uh, makes this special in a sense because you just rarely find them in this condition. And again, we have the original build sheet and uh, all of the corresponding documents and paperwork that, that went with this when we purchased it. So a lot more to follow on this build. It'll be, it'll be really fun actually seeing this in black partnered with a, a green 68 Mustang Fastback. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to share this with you guys. So stay tuned. Watch this thing come to life. It's going to be really cool to see happen. Thank you.